Hello, this is Dr. Abbas Watori, Assistant Professor, Amal College of Advanced Studies. Two weeks before, I had published a video on new project topics relating to COVID-19. It has received a very good response from the viewers and so I thought of putting an another video which discuss about new project topics relating to securities market. First one. Investor satisfaction towards discount brokers, a study with a reference to Mariali's or Haribibani Facebook group. You know, in stock market, there are two types of brokers. One is called discount brokers, another is called full service brokers. Full service brokers generally have a branches at different places and they provide all kinds of services to their customers with, by contacting them directly. And discount brokers are generally online brokers and they do not have branch offices and they have a central office and they provide all kind of online support to the brokers at a discount rate. That is why it is called discount brokers because the service charges of uh, these kind of online brokers are very low that is why they are called discount brokers. So it may be good to conduct a survey or of satisfaction of uh, investors towards the services of the discount brokers. So I have uh, chosen a Facebook group just because that in our days we can see there are number of groups, Facebook groups where you can easily find online stock traders. Second one is business strategies of full service brokers, a study with reference to Malapuram district. So, you know, with the emergence of these uh, discount brokers, especially after the COVID-19 lockdown, these uh, full service brokers are now at a risk because their business have many, much of the business has taken over by these discount brokers. And so we have a feeling that uh, these full service brokers or the earlierly we called as share brokers at uh, our places are now struggling to manage their business and so you can make a study regarding their survival strategies. So this can be done with a, uh, a place nearby you. Third one is investors response towards equity research services. A study with reference to Malayali Sohail new Facebook group. You know along with this popularity of the share trading especially among the youngsters and the equity research services, I mean the recommendations of regarding the buy sell recommendation are also in good demand. Now there are free as well as paid uh, broker recommendations through SMS, email or other type of research report. So this would be very interesting to study the investors response towards these subscribed equity research services. Maybe intraday tips, maybe delivery type or swing trading tips, derivative trips, etc. So you can conduct a study with regards to that. And again, I have chosen a Facebook group just to get or to make it clear that from where you will be getting the uh, respondents for your survey. The fourth one is investment behavior of intraday traders in equity markets. A study with reference to Georgian Financial Services Marapur. This is again, uh, you know, there are two types of traders, intraday traders and uh, investment or delivery traders. So, uh, investors generally make investment in the shares with expectation that uh, the share prices will go up in the future and they, they may receive better dividend, etc. And intraday traders are making their bets on a single day. They want to make profit within a day or within a very short period of time. So this may be an interesting to study about their trading behavior, trading strategies, their profit or loss experiences, etc. of these day traders or otherwise we call it as speculators in the equity market. So this can be easily conducted with reference to a particular full service broking branch in your neighboring place. Fifth one is investors' response towards mutual fund trading apps, a study with reference to Malayali Sohari Bunny Facebook group. Again, I have mentioned that Facebook group just to make sure that you will definitely getting the required number of respondents from a 
a predetermined or as we say predecided destination so here you are studying about uh, the investors response towards mutual fund trading apps you know recently uh, many mobile applications or many platform has emerged which allow you to buy and sell different mutual fund units online especially after the lockdown uh, e platforms have been emerged with, which facilitate easy buying and selling or otherwise uh, online buying and selling of the mutual funds so you can also make a study regarding this investors response towards mutual fund trading apps next is performance analysis of select index funds in india post 2018 period actually the first five topics are based on the primary data and the next five are based on the secondary data so in this topic you are going to study about the performance of the select index funds you know index fund means a mutual fund which primarily invest in the index stocks stocks that are included in a stock market index so uh, you can make a detailed analysis how much return these funds have given how much tracking errors are there tracking error means the deviation from the return of a benchmark index suppose nifty 50 nifty b is a index fund that tracks nifty index it is an etf actually so just like there are different type of index funds are there so you can uh, compare or analyze the performance of these index funds especially with respect to or with relate to their corresponding index and you can identify the tracking error and the fund performances and the period is specified that is post 2008 period this is just included because 2008 is a global financial crisis and uh, this was a, a major change in the Uh, financial markets and so after 2008 till now how these different mutual fund units or different mutual funds are performing the next topic is business growth of weekly options trading in nse since its launch in 2016 you know the sebi has permitted the weekly options that means uh, earlier we had monthly futures and monthly options that is expiry date was uh, the last uh, thursday of uh, every month but after in 2016 the sebi has permitted to issue weekly option so this has definitely after introducing the weekly options in bank nifty and other uh, index stock index contracts the volumes in the options trading has increased even the small scale traders are have attracted to this uh, options trading or otherwise derivative trading so you can understand the business growth that is volume growth and how many contracts are traded under different options contract and you can make a detailed analysis the next topic is performance analysis of ipos in india during pre and post covid 19 period actually uh, you know ipos initial public offers pre that means Uh, in 2019 and 2018 etc we have seen that there are large number of ipos hit the market and uh, these ipos were outperforming both in terms of the subscriptions and also the listing returns and even uh, that uh, the first year and second year profit etc so you can make an analysis of how the ipos performed in 2019 and 2020 but in 2020 you know after the covid has came the number of ipos decreased even the number of subs- amount of subscriptions or multiple subscription also have uh, some shortcomings and finally even its listing performances and the other uh, performances have been badly affected so you can make a comparison how the ipo market was uh, giving profits in 2019 and 2020 the next topic is performance analysis of indian areas during 2015 2020 period the other one you know the adrs and gdrs american depository receptor gdrs many indian companies have issued uh, or made arrangement for trading their shares in the foreign markets uh, for the, just like the uh, infosys Uh, tech mahindra just icici etc have listed in the american stock exchange also in the form of adrs 
so you can just make a technical analysis of these areas to give a picture about their performances over the years so the last five year is taken into consideration and so you can make a comparison between which area performed better and in which year they have performed better and then uh, what about the same during the same period what about the foreign markets like, like nasdaq or dow jones have performed and just like some comparative study of uh, adr's performances and uh, its impact or advantages to the companies etc can be studied these are also a secondary data based study and the last one is analysis of investment patterns of FIIs and DIIs in Indian equity market during 2015-2020 period. So this is your foreign institutional investors and domestic institutional investors. So actually they are the major institutional players in the equity market and their buying and their selling also have an impact on the price movements and also so we can say they are maintaining the liquidity in the market at the same time giving the required support and assistance to the market and all. So you can just check that the trend of investment of these FIIs and DIs. This is really interesting that actually when FIIs buys, DIs sell and when DIs sell, FIIs buy. So you can conduct these studies over a period of five years and you will understand that they is there any difference in any particular year if I is more in invested or DII is more invested just like you can make that study also I hope you are happy with these topics and you can explore more about these topics and uh, this will definitely give you a clear understanding or entry into the an emerging area in commerce that is uh, securities market or stock exchanges and uh, these topics will be definitely useful to those who are doing UG or PG with this finance specialization. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.